What if I were to tell you a way that you could double the heart benefits of your exercise, of your running? Well, that's what we're talking about today. But guys, it's not all rainbows and unicorns, and I probably wouldn't suggest that you take these steps in order to get these extra heart benefits. But if you already do this, if you already have this condition, then just know that your heart is healthier because of it. So I came across this article in Canadian Running Magazine, and the article is titled, New Study Finds Exercise Improves Heart Health Even More for Those with Anxiety and Depression. And it's true, they used a lot of data to come up with it. Obviously, if you are not depressed, if you don't suffer from anxiety, I am definitely not suggesting that you go out and become more anxious about things. Clinical depression is a very serious illness, so clearly we don't want anyone to become depressed if they are not already. And for those that are, we want them moving in the right direction. But, and I'm going to take some liberties with this study, because worldwide, anxiety rates have increased since the pandemic began. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we're worried about, and there are a lot more people that suffer from anxiety now than there were before the pandemic. So, what that tells me is, for us runners, the pandemic has actually made us more healthy. Is that a stretch? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, and this is the weekly running and training vlog where the main purpose of this video is for you to tell me about your week of running. I want to hear about your successes and I definitely want to hear about those setbacks. Make sure you write a comment and let me know how your week of running went. Let's talk about this study. So this study came out of the American College of Cardiology. And let me just jump right to the results and tell you, but they found that individuals that are diagnosed with anxiety or depression can decrease their risk of cardiac complications by 22% with regular exercise. And that's pretty good, but it's really good when you consider it against people that are not diagnosed with anxiety or depression. But those people, they only get a 10% less likelihood of cardiac complications with regular exercise. And you might be wondering how this is true. And we're gonna get into that because this is actually pretty fantastic. So to get this data, the researchers analyzed over 50,000 patients in the Mass General Brigham Biobank database. And this is just a compilation of all patients' data. And it's really a great way to track data over the long term of a very large population. So out of the whole population that they looked at, they found 4,000 people had suffered a major cardiac event, which included having a heart attack, having chest pain caused by a blocked artery, or undergoing a procedure to unblock an artery. So pretty serious stuff. So the researchers looked at the rates of major cardiac events, so the heart attack, the chest pain, the unblocking, for patients that indicated in a questionnaire that they do regular exercise. And that regular exercise means at least 500 metabolic equivalent minutes a week. And that 500 metabolic equivalent minutes a week is right around the 150 minutes a week that you are probably familiar with. That's the minimum that we all need to get. And that's 150 minutes of moderate to intense activity. And yes, the study found that those patients who get at least 500 metabolic equivalent minutes a week of moderate to intense exercise were 17% less likely to experience a major cardiovascular event. So after they got that number, that 17%, they then analyzed the pattern against patients that had been diagnosed with anxiety or depression. And this is where the sensational numbers come in, because it was this second analysis that showed that patients with depression get more than double the benefit of reducing a cardiovascular event than people that don't have depression. And something very similar was found with anxiety. And that's where we get the numbers of 22%. That's a 22% risk reduction for those with anxiety and depression, and a 10% less likelihood of major cardiovascular events for those without depression or anxiety. But the researchers also point out that that 500 metabolic equivalent minute limit, that isn't the be all and end all. Even if you do less, you are still benefiting from any amount of exercise. Pretty good they put that in there. Because for some of us, if we are anxious, if we do have depression, let's be honest, it might be difficult to get out for that 150 minutes a week. But the message is that whatever you do, you are benefiting your heart health for the future. And when you think about it, it really makes sense that there would be a greater increase or decrease in the likelihood of a major cardiovascular event. Because stress is really tied into it. We know this. You and I that run all the time, we know that running can reduce stress. So I know I refer to something being sensitive sensational in these results, because this research actually emphasizes the importance of the stress-related neural mechanisms by which physical activity acts to reduce cardiovascular risk. Right, we think about a heart attack being all mechanical. Something goes wrong in the heart, like a blocked valve, and we have a heart attack. But we can reduce those risks by lowering the stress levels, which starts in our brain. Simply amazing. Anyway, so if you have had increased levels of anxiety, if you've been experienced depression, maybe because of the pandemic, maybe because of something else, just know, and I say this tongue in cheek, but there is a silver lining to that cloud. You are getting increased benefits of heart protectiveness. So I guess here is where I should ask a question, but I, I don't know what to ask. Because surely none of you actually measure your stress levels and can tie it to actual health benefits. We, we don't know what's going on inside us. But I guess I want to know how you guys experience a reduced amount of stress through your running, through your exercise. Is it noticeable? Let's say you're really stressed after a long day at work and you go out for a run. When you come home, is your stress level noticeably lower? Let me know in the comments. And on the flip side, 
Does running ever make you more stressed? I don't think there's gonna be anyone that this happens to, but maybe. Hi guys, I actually had a pretty good week of running this week. My year goes in two week blocks, so this was the lower of my two weeks as far as running distance goes. But I was still able to get in some quality work last week. Oh, let me just give you an update on my plantar fasciitis. So at the beginning of the week, it was, it was getting pretty painful and I've actually made a doctor's appointment, but that doctor's appointment isn't for another two weeks or so. But what's made the biggest difference is that I usually wear bare feet when I'm in the house and I've started wearing shoes and that support has just made everything better. Oh, also, I used some daily trainers with a higher drop for most of my runs last week. And as you know, a higher drop can relieve some of that pressure from the plantar fascia, and that seemed to have helped too. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, it goes away and I don't have to go to the doctors. But if it keeps up, I do have that appointment scheduled. Anyway, Monday. Monday started off nice and easy with 7.5 miles. And especially this week of my two week rotation, this Monday is always appreciated to go out easy because I'm coming off a pretty heavy week. Tuesday, Tuesday I woke up and I was still having that plantar fasciitis pain, but I knew I wanted to get a little bit of speed work in. And I did, I just shrunk it down quite a bit. So I ran a total of eight miles. I warmed up for two and a half miles. Then I did six, 600s with 400 meters recovery in between. And then I cooled down for another two miles after that. It felt pretty good. Speeds probably weren't as fast as they could have been had I not had foot pain and if I was wearing a faster pair of shoes. But still, all in all, pretty good session. Wednesday was another easy run, 11.2 miles. It was a beautiful morning. Humidity was a little bit lower on Wednesday. And this is notable, N notable for me. Probably not as much for you. But when I came back after Wednesday's 11.2 miles, I didn't have to stuff my shoes with newspaper. And that's actually a big deal here at this time of year. Thursday, Thursday was another great run. And this Thursday, I knocked out a total of 10.2 miles. I warmed up for two miles. Then I did a 10K at 10 tempo pace and then I cooled down for two miles after. Luckily I met some peeps from the local running club and I was able to run with someone and of course that company just makes holding on to that tempo pace just a tad easier. I know I would have negotiated that tempo run down to four miles, maybe I could have pushed it to five miles, but it doesn't matter. I knocked out the whole 10k, I was pretty happy with that. Friday was a nice day off and I tell you what, it wasn't too long ago that I wasn't taking any days off during the week and now, now I am really looking forward to this one day off that I take every week. So that was Friday and then Saturday I went for a little longer run and actually it was my longest run of the week. I knocked out 14.2 miles and I gotta say that run was a bit of a struggle but the good news is, is that I was testing new shoes and that always gives me a little more motivation than I usually have if I'm just going out in any old shoes. And then I wrapped up the week with 7.1 miles on Sunday. Going out nice and easy, thought about taking an extra day off, but I woke up early on Sunday morning and I actually felt pretty good. So I went out and just did a nice recovery run. Bring my week's total to 58.26 miles, which is about 93.76 kilometers. So all in all, pretty good week, pretty happy with it. Guys, don't forget to let me know about your week of running and also let me know your thoughts on running and how it might make you feel better from depressive symptoms or anxiety symptoms. I'd love to hear about it. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.